any business today, if you want to survive, you want to stay ahead of the game and stay ahead of the competition, you need to go out and network and build those relationships. And, and that's what uh, we, we've been doing on this trip. Everywhere, especially internationally, the cultures are different. So one of the challenges that I faced was trying to make the connection. Communication is everything when you're doing business because it's so quick, it's so easy, it's much more meaningful, and you're not only doing business, but you're also creating different connections with people who are from the same ummah from you. The conversations that I've had have made it clear that people are overwhelmed at the level of uh, connections. We have literally connected our delegates with the top levels of each industry and we've been received by them with great honour and respect and I think that overwhelmed a lot of people to realise that these are the opportunities that were afforded them by this trip. Um, there's been so much so far um, so it's, it's a, a full intense week I might need a holiday after this. <laughs> I love the event, it's the first event, we've had, it came on a Saturday, it's now Sunday evening, it's been such a packed weekend, it feels like a whole week, and Osman is explaining to me that we've got a full packed day by day for the next five days. First trip to Istanbul. Um, uh, it's been, I, I didn't realise how big the city is, and how much um, is being invested in the city. I don't think they were expecting the level of expertise, the level of business that they can get, the level of, of opportunities that are available to them. It's been phenomenal. Some of the people that are in there that I would never have imagined sitting in front of, conversating with like some really powerful people that are decision makers within such a, a big economy such as Turkey. Those members, those industrialists and business leaders who run, who are, you know, who run uh, Musyar, which is a major networking organization here in, in Turkey. 30,000 businesses that are members of Musyar. Um, Alhamdulillah. And this is day one. Let's go. <laughs> Understanding the gaps in the market and the problems that they need solving that we can actually work on. Um, it just, it's presented huge opportunities, mind-blowing opportunities. It just feels such an honour and privilege. You get to speak to people. We, we spoke to some of the high echelons in the Istanbul Chamber of Commerce today. Um, I think the stage presence as well, and uh, it just felt that you were somewhere in somewhere big. This delegation that's been put together is of a very high calibre, but we were sat in the Istanbul Chamber of Commerce having very detailed conversations on the state of the economy, uh, various financial metrics and uh, the current account reserves and foreign reserves. The largest business organisation in Turkey is the Istanbul Chamber of Commerce. Being able to speak to the heads of the health tourism industry um, for Musyad in the Istanbul Chamber of Commerce and with leaders across Turkey. We are able to stand our ground and this network has a very skilled set of delegates. So I think it's something that's really been uh, made crystal clear on this trip that the skill and the expertise that we have within this network is second to none. Welcome to Property Expo Istanbul. This is a exhibition center or let's say shopping mall of properties in one place. I think if someone's thinking about investing overseas and certainly it's a great one uh, stop shop to provide all the services. That's what they've got in this one roof I can see various different types of developments from different developers. We understand the UK property market and we take a lot of our knowledge and understanding as a given, but it's not a given for people who aren't from the UK. And it's a similar case when we came to Istanbul. We didn't really understand uh, the property market except for theoretically. And I think understanding it on a, on a deeper level and really capturing the landscape and being aware of the opportunities and not just the opportunities, but how to actually tap into them and not just how to tap into them, but then giving them the connections and receiving the connections to do so and making investments, making practical relations within a week. What I want to launch in the UK, they've already launched here and they've enhanced it. They've added all the portals. So I want to set up a meeting and I need to start doing the agreement whilst I'm here. Oh yeah. So why not? I'm here for another four days. Alhamdulillah, it's a, um, a crazy opportunity that, that we've had to meet such a variety of different manufacturers yesterday. And even though I came with certain specific products that I was looking for, 
or packaging, etc. It opened my eyes up to other opportunities. Well, today at the UTEP um, event, which was uh, the consortium of manufacturers in Istanbul and across, I think across Turkey, I've met someone and I have a meeting arranged with him tomorrow and I'm going to be restarting my clothing line, inshallah. And uh, he said, come tomorrow with your designs and I'll have sample pieces by the day after and a price for you for wholesale before you go back. So I guess I'm starting a new business. Being in the health sector, there's definitely a lot of opportunities in Turkey. And I think that is the way uh, Turkey are heading towards. And they, they, they're putting a lot, there's a lot of enthusiasm um, being pushed that way and there's a lot of from a top-down governmental level downwards. A plethora of people you get um, in lots of industries, for myself it's the healthcare industry but you know people from uh, property, development, um, tech and all types of sectors. Um, it's, it's a very unique space so excited to see where this uh, goes in the future and enlighten and uh, support the Ummah and change the way things are done for the better. The thing to take back is truly the depth of connections that I've made with not just the delegates, but a variety of connections, whether they are board members, as I mentioned, VC managers, investment fund managers, a broad spectrum of people I've been able to sit down and have a conversation with. Sometimes people use marketing to overpromise to try and sell things. I feel like as an organization, we always try to under promise and over deliver. After coming in, I realized that's what the delegates thought. They thought we had uh, over promised and it was marketing, but we'll check this out anyway. To be honest, the whole trip's been fantastic from some of the characters that I've met on this trip. The key word, to be honest, I just think it's been a natural formation of relationships over the, over the, how many days we've been here now? The delegation gives you a chance to get to know each other a lot better than you can in a, uh, in a meeting or a dinner. I mean, it feels like four weeks, but yeah, I've lost track. <laughs> I, I made some real, I, I'm, I'm hoping lifelong friendships. And one of the things that I've taken taken away from this trip, that I made a really good friend in Mustard Asha, and uh, he, he's hilarious. To be honest with you, I don't think there's just been one set funniest moment but it's just the stories that we've been sharing with each other on the coaches, in the evenings. I think trying to learn the principles of Wing Chun with Arshad on the back of the bus is definitely a good moment. I try not to say the obvious one that everyone's probably said, but I think I'm going to have to go with Arshad. Uncle Arshad, as we're going to call him from now on. I've got to say the banter that we have, uh, alongside obviously the business side of things, um, the fun that the delegates have um, when they're on their own, uh, when they're outside of the business environment. Maybe when uh, one of the delegates um, left but brought his son's passport to the airport. <laughs> Bless him, he made it here in the end. Well, we talk about these guys. I saw the taxi the other day with these the lads. They goes, bro, you breathe too loud. What shall I just do? Shall I just die? <laughs> Me missing the fly. It's funny and it's embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, Hey, bro, Listen, stop enjoying yourself. Be serious, professional. You've been told off already. But then, you know, I've made a, a joke of that. I, I've said, you know, I've tried to be clever. I said, look, you know, this is what you call marketing. Because everybody in Birmingham Airport and everybody on this trip knows I'm the guy who bought his son's passport. <laughs> um, and getting lost in Sultan Ahmed, uh, I think he's brought a lot of uh, stress, uh, which when you look back is really, really funny. <laughs> And last question, uh, yeah. if you had to describe the trip in three words. I have to think about that. Um, Exhilarating. Revolutionary. Partnerships. Holiday. <laughs> Intense. The main one, Alhamdulillah. Uh, packed with benefit. These are not three words, but I'm giving you three phrases. Well thought out, packed with benefit. Networking. Opportunity. Motivating. And if you didn't come, you, you are going to experience severe FOMO. That's what I can say. It's been top. <laughs> so... Top is a good word. Yeah, yeah, it's been top. It's been top. Excellent. And fun. <laughs> Brilliant.